Hello everyone, this is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We're in Matthew chapter 12 verse 3, Romans chapter 4 verse 16, and Acts chapter 8 verse 3. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for another day. Thank you for being our guide in everything that we do. You are beautiful. You are holy. You are magnificent and there is nobody like you. We give you all the glory and the praise. You cause us to cross this finish line. You are going to cause us to enter into that final rest. And we say, thank you, Father God. In Jesus name, we pray. Amen. All right, you guys. Matthew chapter 12, verse 3. He said to them, have you not read what David did when he was hungry and those who were with him? All right. And so we know that when David was hungry, he and those men, they went to the priest and they asked him um, if there was anything that they could eat that he had. And the only thing that they had was the bread of the presence of God, um, the leftover bread, the the show bread. Um, it's what they call it. And so um, he asked him a series of questions um, relating to the cleanness of of whether or not they have been with women or and things like that and so um they answered his questions and they had not been because remember they had been out in battle at war and so um they ate the bread right and so the thing that the holy spirit was showing me was you know as holy spirit you never know. Just ask Holy Spirit. And the answer may not be what you think. Ask the Lord, right? The answer may not be what you are thinking. It's the traditional answer that God gives. So when you face your need, sometimes you just need to come in under the covering of safety. And you need to realize that what God tells you to do may not be the thing that um is is the thing that you think it should be right he might give you a totally different answer when you ask him amen all right and so romans chapter 4 verse 16 that is why it depends on faith in order that the promise may rest on grace and be guaranteed to all his offspring not only to the adherent of the law but also to the one who shares the faith of Abraham, who is the father of us all. All right, you guys. And so this is basically letting us know that um, that's why it depends on faith, right? We need to depend on faith. Um, our belief on Jesus allows us access to this Holy Spirit and it can guide us. It can lead us and guide us into all truth. It can show us like it showed David where to go, right? And uh, the what what's once would have been a very, you know, sacred thing to not do. Holy Spirit gave guidance and, and God gave permission right so we need to make sure that we are resting on faith not on our works but on the grace of God God's grace is so amazing it is being poured out even now um as we are walking into these last hours and last days it says that is why it depends on faith in order that the promise may rest on grace and be guaranteed to all his offspring because of this grace because it's not based on um how good you did or what you um what you did right the only thing is based on is belief and so it is this this grace allows us all to enter into this rest right enter into the the rest of grace resting on grace right it, it it is like a door that is a door, right? And so we need to enter into this door. We need to enter into this place. Um, and it depends on our faith. We just have to believe, right? Um, you 
have to be ready and open to receiving what may not be the traditional answer and just know that is we have to listen to holy spirit amen all right and so it says not only to the adherent of the law but also to the one who shares the faith of abraham who is the father of us all do you share the faith of abraham then you are a part of being this 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 recipient of this great grace right through faith so believe it and receive it and walk in it amen all right and so the third verse um the lord gave me was acts chapter 8 verse 3 but saul was ravaging the church and entering house after house he dragged off men and women and committed them to prison so when you make that choice to rest in your faith and and let the promise of God's grace pour over you it, it, it can make you make some men and enemies right it can cause the enemy to get stirred up riled up angry he gets offended right and so we need to be willing to listen to Holy Spirit listening for his voice listening for what to do when the bind up the enemy, when he's showing you where the enemy is and what's going on, right? Um, and and we need to be ready to to handle business, right? We we can't just expect um that we we can just sit back, right? And and we we can rest on grace, right? But when it comes to us taking up spiritual authority. We need to take up that spiritual authority. We need to do the will of the Father. Amen. So enemy wants to try to come into your house, um, knocking on your door, door by door, then we need to show him something, right? We need to show him better than we can tell him. We need to say, get the Lord, get Satan, the Lord God rebuke you and get thee behind me, Satan, right? And he's going to flee. Amen. All right, you guys, let's pray. Thank you, Father God, for this word. Help us to not be afraid of conflicting with um, the enemy and, and having battles. Help us to walk forward in boldness and holiness and strength, Lord God. Help us to realize that when we have needs, we can come to you and your answer may not be exactly what we think is the appropriate answer and so help us to be open to that in the mighty name of Jesus we pray amen all right you guys if there is anybody out there who would like to um, receive Jesus as your savior and lord go ahead and pray this prayer with me but more than anything believe it with all your heart as you confess it with your mouth Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. Jesus, I believe you died on the cross. And I believe you rose again on the third day so that I could be saved. Thank you, Father God, for doing this for me. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, you guys, if there's anybody out there um, who also maybe has fallen away from the Lord. Um, maybe you did something and then it just kind of downward spiraled. Um, go ahead and pray this prayer with me. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you to forgive me for my sins. Help me as I get back on right track with you. Help me as I choose you over this world. Forgive me of my sins. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Help me to walk this straight and narrow path, Lord. Amen. All right, you guys. If you have prayed those prayers and you believe those prayers, then the Holy Spirit has come into you and sealed you until the day of redemption. And no one can break that seal except Christ Jesus when he comes to redeem his church. The Holy Spirit is in you to lead you and guide you into all truth. And he's going to do just that. Amen. One of the things that Christ wanted us to do and not forsake was the fellowshipping of ourselves one to another. Go out, find a church home, find other believers to be around so that you can stay sharp in the word of God. Amen. 
All right. And then also don't forget to be baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. All right, you guys take care and be blessed.